So I thought that we would do some more painting papers together. But first, I'll show you what I worked on the other night. Um, so, you know, these aren't done. I'm just, you know, this is just a layer. I've added maybe a layer or two. Okay, so this is done with my metallic. This is done with neon and metallic. And I went ahead and I mixed pink and green. Mm-hmm, I did it right here too, see that? And I did some metallic um, sponging after that. This was a stamp off and I kinda like the dark swirly things. More spongies, more spongies more circles and that stamp so um but i found today happy mail that i got from my friend elisa she sends um packages randomly to myself and my girls and it is always so nice i was putting stuff away today and in this envelope came these gorgeous painting papers and a ton of beautiful napkins. And I can't wait to use those. So these are painting papers from Elisa. So these are going to go in my dun pile. I thought we would use the jelly plate today for some of the stencil work. And I thought that we would um, use a couple of other different things that maybe you haven't used before. Or maybe it would be a refresher for you to use, okay? Um, this I tried to do something with, so we might just do a big fat stencil over that. Ugh. So weird because I, this is my purchased jelly plate. I have a, um, you know, I have a, uh, I'm trying to think of what color I want to put on that. I have... A homemade one and I made it oh, probably about four years ago um, yeah it, it was a while ago mm. jasmine tea um, it was a while ago but I love I love my homemade one more than this one by a long shot okay by a long stinking shot um, this one is nice, but it, it's hard. Mine has a lot of give to it. And mine has a lot of natural, what I think is, you know, natural texture to it. So, um, uh, I like the texture that it leaves behind. And I have to move my paintbrush too. I love the texture that it leaves behind. And I love the, this is like becoming one of my favorite stencils. And I love the give. It has a lot of give to it. So, um, and what I mean by give is, it has a little bit more smoosh when you, when you put something on. Like with this one, when I do jelly plating on magazine pages, which is, which this is a magazine page, and if you know me, most of what I'm doing is magazine pages of some sort, right? That doesn't show up that well. I mean, it's another layer, but it, it doesn't show up that well. Uh, if you know me, you know that I'm doing a lot with the magazine pages. So, I'm just going to catch the bottom down here. It just doesn't... Uh, this is more likely to transfer the image, like a magazine transfer. Which is fine if that's what you're looking for, but every single print on a magazine page, it transfers some something. You know, I, I can't do a good magazine transfer on purpose, but you go ahead and give me a uh, you go ahead and give me a magazine page that I'm trying to cover, and it's going to transfer some of the previous page onto it. That is just the way that goes. So. I gave myself little to no room right here, so we're going to have to do this, and then do this, and put this down. See, this was a magazine page I painted over with, I think, Dollar Tree paints. I really went 
hot and heavy with those Dollar Tree paints for a while. Mainly because I didn't know how I felt about them, and I still don't. So, there. Um, but anyway, that's why I like my homemade one more. The only difference is, the one thing I love about this one, I can um, wash it. I just washed it for the first time since I bought it. And it's weird to be able to take that into my kitchen and scrub the crust off of it. Whereas with my homemade one, I usually have to baby wipe it right away. That's not really coming out anymore, is it? I usually have to baby wipe it right away. And you cannot wash it in a sink because it's made of glycerin, which will essentially melt. So, <clears throat> let's find another paper I can put this print on. So, in conclusion to this totally useless conversation, my I like my homemade jelly plate. Okay? Let's try on this weird paper, see what it does. This was a kid's, like, uh, I don't know, free magazine type thing. I don't remember where we got it might have been free or it might have been at a festival somewhere. I like that. See? That looks cool. That's okay. That's okay. Next, I'm not going to use that color. That just really didn't do it for me. But why don't we try my... Ooh, you know what? Let's use my big fat bronze. It's one of my favorites. I bought this. I bought it at a thrift store many years ago. And it's all, It's actually almost out. So I don't know what I'm going to do when it is out. Because I love it. I don't like these big tubes. But that one, like, I just really... It's very heavy bodied. It's called copper. I'm sorry. It is copper. Um, it, it is... It goes on heavy body but when you're actually painting with it it smooths out and thins out pretty nicely so but of course you know it is the Liquitex brand and I don't know how old it was but when I bought it I bought it like three years ago now so that just goes to show you this here is one of my faves. This is a placemat. And I do everything I can to use it on this jelly plate as much as humanly possible. But pull off all the little fiber pieces. Alright, grab this ugly one we tried to do something with. Okay. It might not be perfect, okay? This page here, I have a feeling, is just going to be my let's let's keep putting things on until it's pretty page. Okay. Let's see if that did anything. And no, it did not. But you know what it will do? I'm going to show you what this is going to do. We installed windows in our bedroom um, last week and over the weekend and I'm gonna tell you what a stinking difference you don't realize see I love that shell like that it reminds me of like a shell whoa turn that down please um, you don't realize how much your windows play a part in your house until you get new windows. I mean, we don't even hear the crickets at night now. We don't hear a thing, which is sucks because there are some nights that I think that, you know, when other cats show up, they fight with my cats. And I would like to be able to hear that <laughs> because we can usually run out onto the porch in time and, you know, fight if we have to fight, fight with the cats. No, it's actually, believe it or not, it's my cat. Um, cats are very territorial. And my my mama cat, she's a lion, so 
she is just not going to let anybody up on her porch. And that's just the way she is. Sometimes she don't even let her own child up on my porch. And uh, they get into some pretty good brawls. They did yesterday, her and her daughter. But yeah, it's going to be rough not being able to hear what what's going on on the porch. And sometimes we get like clumsy possums who come up and try and eat the cat food and they're banging things around out there because they're trying to get into the big barrel but they can't um so you know that's one thing we'll have to just deal with the next day because those possums make a mess that's cool those oh little flies those possums make a stinking mess so this is cool because these are usually cool when you get to this point. Let's see if it's going to make a liar out of me. The reason why I pulled this out, actually, was because I want to use it as a stamp pad for my foamies. Um, I will paint on them with a paintbrush, but the thick paint, I'll show you what I mean. Actually, one of the papers I did is the perfect example. A little, little perfect example of what I'm talking about. So I will show you. Oh no, it didn't. There wasn't enough left. So, but that is still, you know, it's a layer. It's a layer. I'm just layering these puppies up. So, and this one here, layer. Okay, that is going to add interest and that is going to add texture later on down the road. Okay, that is just going to be one more gem. So. The papers I have that I did the other day, this this stamp, okay, is thick on the, the edges. So I made this, this extra print and it's got all the blobs. Well, when I use my jelly plate as a stamp pad, it, it doesn't do that. So that's kind of what I was thinking of for some of my foamies. But another thing I want to um, bring back around, did I lose it? Like... What the heck? I have my um, hot glue stencils that I made many moons ago, too. We're going to do something with those. I'm going to try and, try and uh, see what we can do with those. And if I, I can't do anything that I like, then we will be... I'm just going to toss them out because uh, I was iffy about them when I made them. T, where is my piece of cardboard? Let's grab my big Mark Making box. Actually, this isn't all of it. I have more I have to add to it. So I will probably, when I put this stuff away, maybe the end of the week-ish, I might, um, I might... Well, I guess I can't show you. I have a piece of corrugated cardboard and I use the corrugated side um, as a stamp. And it's like one of my favorite mark making tools. Just a flap from a box, a corrugated box. But it's gone. Look at me, I come, I show up to school all unprepared. Oh, here's my dry brush, here we go, see? Just with the things I used the other day, which were hidden under my stencil collection. So, we are going to take a color. Ooh, maybe we'll try dry brushing on the jelly plate, too. All right, let's pick a color. want to do, let's do neon pink, okay? Neon pink. Just because I can. Ooh, look at how bright that is. I have a headache just looking at it. Okay. I, I... I have a hard time, and I think this is a problem for a lot of us, knowing if uh, enough is enough when it comes to paint on the jelly plate. I am either putting way too much or way too little. And I think that's, while most of that is my fault, I do think some of it has to do with the paint and the viscosity, because uh, I use a lot of the cheap, you know, April blah. blah apple barrel. I guess I can't talk today. Oh my god. I use a lot of the apple barrel paints. 
we're going to turn this this way because we are going to do some stamping. I use a lot of the Apple Barrel paints, which are very inconsistent. You know, some of them are really thick, some of them are really thin, some of them are really runny, some of them have poor coverage. Um, there is just no consistency at all with your Walmart Apple Barrel paints. Now, Apple Barrel does seem to have better quality paints at places like Joann's, where they charge, last I knew, was like over a dollar uh, a, a, a bottle. I don't know what it is now, but... Um, you know, over a dollar a bottle, and I think that the quality of them is different because I will buy the Joann's Apple Barrel paints when I can get them on clearance normally. Uh, I don't buy, I don't tend to buy paint unless it's at Walmart, unless the paint is on sale. Sorry, I'm cheap, but I ain't paying no three bucks for a freaking little tube of paint. But the Walmart ones are just ridiculous. I have used this piece of corrugated cardboard for painting and stamping and you name it. I have used it for probably, I want to say, four or five years now. Um, it seems like everything I'm talking about today is four or five years, so just, just roll with it, okay? Just roll with it. But anyway, yeah. So this piece of cardboard will last you forever if you can hold on to it, which honestly, I'm shocked that I have kept it this long. <clears throat> so, yeah, the Anita's paints are pretty consistent. Uh, some of them are not, like that blue one, this blue one that I used. I'm a little upset with how uh, opaque it is. It's not, it doesn't have a rich coverage, which, you know, kind of bothers me. Although I'm sure I bought it on sale. And I'm sure that part of the sales that they have at Hobby Lobby is to get rid of old paint. So... And I know for a fact that I have bought some of the, I didn't even mean to make this really cool like square thing going on. Uh, I am sure that some of the paint is old because I bought metallics that have been chunky, crusty, yucky gunkies. Okay. So. Ooh, look at that. That's cool. That's cool. Let's do this up here. Yeah. Cool lines. So, cannot go wrong with lines. You can also go in and add your own lines later with a paint pen or um, a colored pencil. I was watching Dee Dee Willingham today. She was making collage papers. It seems to be the thing right now. Collage papers. And she said that regular colored pencils work great over acrylic paint. My colored pencils are cheapos. I don't have a good set. I should invest in a good set, but I don't have one currently. But I'm going to try it with the ones that I have. See all the lines that come up? And look at this. I have extras. So we're going to take our purple paper. Purple paper! And we're going to do that again. I have still been playing with the idea of a newsletter. I don't know if my life and my art is interesting enough to warrant one, so I don't know if I should um, like try and think of some more topics, because if I can't come up with enough things to talk to you guys about in a newsletter, then I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I don't want to be boring, okay? And I am kind of boring, so... Let's do, let's do some stampings, like with this stuff. I love this, I think. I don't know if that's the same stuff that I was thinking of. Um, so, you know, if you're interested in a newsletter, let me know below. And things that you enjoy getting from newsletters. Like, I signed up for Pam, Pam from the Paper Outpost. I signed up for her newsletter. And, uh... She does a lot of stuff, so she has a lot of things in her newsletter, you know? And I just don't know if I could come up with that much stuff. 
and I did just um, subscribe to Shannon Greens so I don't know I don't know um, I haven't I don't think I've gotten one yet sometimes they send one out right away but I don't think I've gotten one yet I haven't checked my email again in a little while so I could have gotten something um, but I'm anxious to see like what she has to say in her newsletters because like I said I just don't know if I could be that interesting if I did it once a month I might be able to get interesting you know once a month I might be able to have enough cool stuff going on over the course of a month like you know what? I do find some cool things and I do um, I do visit some pretty neat thrift stores and antique stores and you know I could do like thrift with me type segments and I don't know I don't know what to do I don't know how to do it I don't know how to be interesting okay sorry I'm just a boring person and I made my life this way on purpose because I didn't want a crazy life so maybe I have to un unbordify my life a little bit Oh, I'm sorry, it's like way TMI, but <sighs> working out in the heat last week made me break out really bad. Like, uh, you know, I get acne in my T-zone, and I've had it under control because I've been taking some vitamin A and E, which was recommended to me by my postal lady, who I love. Her name is Tanya. And... Um, my acne's been pretty good since I started taking that stuff the beginning of June, but I don't know if it was the heat or what, but man, I'm so broken out. You know, and if you've ever had acne, you know that it's painful. My face hurts, man, my face. And I know, I know, you don't even got to say the joke. Oh, well, it's killing me. <laughs> I know it's killing you because it's ugly as sin right now. So if anybody has any good acne hacks too, just let me know that too. I do have a sulfur mask that I put on in the shower, but I can't do that every day. It's very drying, so I can't, you know, I'm just going to keep going with this. This is like doing stuff here. Um, it's very drying for your skin, so you can't really do it every day. So I did it the night before last, but I didn't do it last night. I might try again tonight, but last night my skin was really dry, so I'm just... At a loss here, peoples. I am at a loss. What do I have here that doesn't have too much glossy? This doesn't. One of my ghost prints. Come on now. Don't be. You gotta play nice together. I don't have a lot of drying space here. So, you gotta play nice. This is gonna make a cool print too when I take this off. Like, like a mesh looking burlap sack looking print meshy I like this this is a shelf liner I think and I think I I think I sent pieces of this out in happy mail I kept I have like one sheet of it right here that was all that I kept for myself because who needs like you know 50 sheets of this stuff like let's be real all right let's grab one of my dictionary pages oh this is gonna look so great on here I say as it looks like crap Y'all, my napkin packs are almost out in my store, so if you want a good variety of napkins, jump on over because it's going to be a while before I get more. I did not realize that I am so low on napkins. I'm pretty sure I'm missing. I'm pretty sure I'm missing a big bag of napkins. So if you want napkins, go go over there and get some because they're not going to be there much longer until I can get to Tuesday morning and. You know, but it's not just Tuesday morning. You gotta collect them from places. You gotta go places. You gotta. They they don't just come from one or two stores. Like I got some this weekend, but you know, I got four or five packages, which isn't twenty. And I offer twenty random napkins. I still have holiday ones, and I have plenty of Halloween ones and Christmas ones, but I don't have. I don't have a good variety now of florals or botanicals or, you know, pretty art. So get on over if you are 
I might do that again, but with this. If you are looking for some napkins, go on a wall. Oh, you know what? Let's try dry brushing because I can do that later. We want to do different things, right? You guys aren't here to watch me do the same thing. Let's try dry brushing the jelly plate. So we can do, it's going to be a twofer because I'm not going to put a ton. And I'm only doing one color here, okay? Because I tend to make mud very easily and I don't want to make mud on camera. Okay, I do not want to. I do really enjoy taking opposite colors though and putting them together. They, I have gotten some gorgeous combinations from say blue and orange. Mm -hmm. I have gotten some great ones. I have gotten some nice pink and greens. Okay, when I use two neons, they can be pretty nice, my pink and greens. Um, I have had a couple of neon yellow and dark purples that have looked good, believe it or not. Okay, so never underestimate the power of color mixing. Unless you turn it into mud, then you can underestimate that power, okay? You can, you can do it then. See, I like that. Just a little. Just a little something, something. I'm running out of drying places, guys. What am I going to do? <gasps> All right. Now, I ain't no artist, okay? So, don't get after me for my techniques. Okay. Ooh, like that. Like that on the purple. See, I've had good luck overlaying, too, like yellow onto purple. I've had good luck with that. I have had good luck with the strange combinations. Not making them into mud. You cannot make them into mud. There has to be some sort of a separation or, um, you know, an overlay onto a dry color. You can't, you can't, you can't be doing no mixing and... You know, yeah, none of that, none of that. But you can safely do it, okay? Trust me. I am not done. See how this is all liney, but I can still see a lot of the yellow. So we're gonna go in and pull some of that off, okay? Ooh, this is like, uh, you know, the stencil that I did on here, it's almost leaving a texture under my dry brushing. Which is cool, beans. Okay. There are little flies. Does anybody else have little flies in their house in the summer? Or is it just me and my big old farmhouse? Laura, Jersey Crafter, I'm sure you got the bugs. Because when you live in a farmhouse, you definitely cannot be freaked out by bugs. Speaking of bugs, I don't think I told you. I think it happened after my last video. I, I, me and the spiders, when we're outside, we have an agreement. Okay, when I'm outside, I am in your territory. Uh, I won't be, you know, I won't be causing no trouble. But when you're in my house, you're in my territory, depending on where you are, we could have to exchange some words. So I went out into my shop, and there was a stinking spider out there. They are called Carolina wolf spiders. You can look them up. Uh, I'll give you a minute to do that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you can find them on Google. They look like tarantulas. Carolina wolf spider, and they are huge. It was the size of the palm of my hand. They are very docile. They are non-threatening. They are not poisonous to humans as far as I know. Usually you get close enough to them and they just scurry away, but they are gigantic. So I go out there and there is one in just standing. Oh, I love that. Oh, we are going to do that some more. It is standing in the middle of my floor. It's just, you know, of my shop. Because we have freezers out there. I was going to put stuff away. And we just stop. And we just both, like, look at each other for a minute. You know? And I tell him, I say, listen, I, I'm not going to bother you. Okay, dude? You just keep spidering. Get all them ugly bugs out of there. Because they do. They get the... They kill the black widows and stuff. So, you really got to... You really got to offer a little bit of respect. So I did. I left him alone. And then he disappeared. And I don't know where he went. 
because usually so long as I can keep an eye on him because if he did decide to become an aggressive little bugger I, I need to uh, you know I need to have a heads up if I gotta be defending myself and fighting for my life so he took off and I don't know where to but I have not seen him again you know but I do I, I'll talk to him like when I see him in my basement I'm like listen you're in my basement and I understand this is a pretty attractive place to the buggies but you got to stay out of my way and they usually do I've only had to brake clean a couple of them you know brake clean in the can I, I do I spray them I'm sorry I do it's just you know you can't and if it's a black widow you kill them obviously you cannot let a black widow live I have seen since living here black widows do some incredible things though holy cow I have seen I don't know if I want to use light purple I have seen a black widow take a carpenter bee I don't, I don't know I might have told you this story oh excuse me my nose I might have to sneeze I haven't used this color yet this is a metallic I saw a black widow a carpenter bee landed in her web and as far as I know black widows they're not big web makers and stayers I, I, I don't I don't think they do that often but she had a web on one of my barns and that carpenter bee which is huge you know I mean you're talking look at the size of a man's thumb that's about the size of a fully fully grown carpenter bee this is really watery this paint so it landed in her web and I watched that bee that spider within 10 seconds wind that bee right up in that web and kill it and just keep like it was like zapping it like some kind of magic like zap 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 oh so crazy I'm sorry to all you people who are freaked out by bugs but nature just fascinates me everything about it everything about it like I'll tell you another thing that fascinates me Man, I talk. You all get sick of talk. Listen to me talk. Christ Almighty! If you do, just say, "Hey, Malia, let's flap in your face in your videos and play music or something." Just tell me. I'll do it. Anyways, I'm outside yesterday working in my ice cream truck where I store my business. My business is stored in there for right now. And all of a sudden, the air changed, and I smelled rain. I smelled it coming in was so wild because it was it was it was within 10 minutes I think that it started to rain and that was just it was just cool because I totally you know I just pay close attention I guess and when you're out in the country you tend to do that because resources for me are a half hour away anything anything we have a small hospital about 20 minutes away but it's small. Like, when Brian had to go there, they didn't even have an ultrasound machine. <laughs> okay, they couldn't, they couldn't even perform an ultrasound. So, they are itty, they are itty bitty. Which is fine. I mean, you know, we're out here in the sticks. How, how much do we really need? You know, they, they get those ambulances. You got something really wrong. They get you in one of them ambulances. They take you to the city. You're there in 45 minutes. So... But, yeah, we have to really kind of watch out for what happens around here because of the fact that we're so far from, you know, the city, the big hospitals. They're, they're all 45 minutes to an hour away. So you kind of have to plan on your injuries. <laughs> oh, I plan on injuring myself today. So, you know, just have the car ready at 4 or 5 o'clock and we'll go down. Luckily, we're pretty healthy bunch. We don't have to go to the emergency room often. Brian's had to go more than any of us, so. Maybe we should just get rid of him. He's dead weight. Oh, I thought he was in the other room listening. <laughs> that would have been fun. Man, this is really fun tonight, ladies. I'm not going to lie. I'm really getting into this. Probably because I didn't get a chance to do it much this weekend. And I've been thinking about it. 
and I've been wanting to do it like every night. I'm like, ooh, tonight, you know, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna jelly plate. I'm gonna paint, but I think I don't get a chance to because of windows. And then by the time you're done outside, you're freaking exhausted, you know. See, I like this blending. But yeah, we are going to do the dry brushing with the jelly plate. Really, find yourself a stiff brush. And even if you had to, I, I don't know how you'd cut that, maybe snip it, snip at it, the ends, or find a brush like this because the dry brushing thing is awesome. All right, let's grab another set of papers. Like, I need any more papers out here. But yeah, Black Widows, they are pretty fascinating, even though they'll kill you. And the Wolf Spiders are pretty, they are pretty neat. The wildlife is pretty neat. You know, we, uh, we talk about it a lot. And it's a big talk of the neighborhood, too. You know, if anybody's seen a bear, or if, you know, there were coyotes. A few months ago, there was a bobcat sighting somewhere close by down the road I think we have the fox you know when we see them often we see the fox we see the um, possums all the stinking time and believe it or not while we have a lot of raccoons they don't come up on my porch much they don't they're not they don't they don't come in my yard I guess all that much so, we don't have to worry about that with the coons. Um, but the possums will try and, like, eat at the cat food. And they we have, like, a big plastic food-grade barrel outside that I keep the food in. And it's not airtight, but it is possum-tight. And, uh, but they actually chewed at it and almost chewed a hole in the side of it. You know, not the side, but the rim. So... I don't think they'll give it anything. They can't, you know, it's just a nitty bitty little spot. And it's not all the way through, but yeah, that was a while ago, that possum. Then we had one possum that kept showing up. I got my cats on an automatic feeder, mainly because it stays, in, the food stays in the feeder and you can knock that feeder over and it's not gonna open. Um, we had one possum every single night come over and knock the feeder over. Every night, every night, like clockwork you hear smash crash bang because they knocked the feeder over and in that time they got my feeder all muddy gross and I still haven't cleaned it so that's gonna have to be a priority coming up before fall but I did I bought that feeder it was like a year ago this week and it is still uh, going on the batteries it takes D batteries if anybody's looking for an automatic feeder for their cats or their dogs it's it's good for both. It's called Woe Pet. W-O-P-E-T. I'll get a link. I'll put a link below because um, I joined the Amazon affiliates. Oh, I bought myself a new matte white. I wanted to buy a big bottle because this one's like water. I don't know. I might use this as like a wash. Um, I'll have to relabel that one. We're going to use our new white one. I don't know what I'm gonna use. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. We're gonna try our my hot glue stencils and determine if those are worth my aggravation. Um. So yeah, whoa, pet. If you want one for your pets, I love it. It comes with a cord. You can plug it in, okay? But I think that it. I don't think it does both. I'm pretty sure that if you have batteries it's running off batteries. And if you plug it in, it's running off of power. I don't think that the power supplements the battery. If it loses power or something, I think it has to be either or. Okay. What the crap? Come on now. Where are my scissors? So, yeah. You need a, if, you, if you want a feeder, you can set up to like, I don't know, 10 times a day or something? No, it's like four times a day up to 10 
servings. So I have two cats. I have them on eight servings in the morning and four servings around seven because I don't want to give them a lot at night. I, I don't want, you know, to attract the animals more than they already show up, but I want them to have a little something at night. So I do that. It comes on about, it comes out about 7 p.m. And, you know, I say eight servings. One serving is like a tiny little, little handful. So I think you can have up to 10 servings per spill. But like, even if you gave your animal a lot of food at a time, right, it is really good for, you can do, you know, one 10 serving at eight o'clock and then at 804 you can do another one or 802 or 801 or whatever you know I don't think that I mean I know you can do that you can do whatever you want for timing and let me see if this will work because these are thick you know I mean I know it touched ooh that's kind of funky pickles See that it doesn't get all the way into those circles, see? Mm -hmm. But if we can clean up some of the paint in there, maybe we can get a cool print. You know, we can get some of it out of there. Let's see what we can do. Let's see. Is anyone else sick and tired of summer yet? Sick of the heat? I'm just sick of the humidity. Like, I got things I have to do outside. I gotta start preparing for my studio. I can't, and I can't, I can't, I can't be doing all this stuff in, you know, 75,000% humidity. All right, let's roll this, because if this doesn't make a great stencil, maybe it can make a great stamp, and then I might just make it a little bit smaller. That might be okay, you know, it might be okay might be an okay stamp. Maybe I didn't do the right, maybe I need like a darker paper, you know. Looks like a bunch of pucker marks, like someone put their butt cheeks on the paper. All right, so that's okay, I guess. You know, you get, you get a little bit off of it. Let's go ahead and take off some circles and see what they look like. Okay. Oh, that's pretty neat, right? That is, you can do something with that. That's pretty okay. Maybe I'll take this blue, you know. The, the ghosties off of this might be cool. Let's take, um, let's just circle up here and take away some of the paint. Ooh, the dictionary pages, because they're thinner. Yep, that's the way to do it. That's the way to get them circles out of there, is that dictionary paper. Okay. So don't use the thick pages. Don't use the thicker book pages. Use the thin uh, dictionary and maybe like the thin magazine pages, that is gonna be the way you wanna do that. Uh, I I tried these once, I think. I tried my, uh, these glue, uh, you know, stencil thingies, and I didn't really give them a chance. I didn't know, I was kinda discouraged with how weird <laughs> it came out. You know, because some of the paint is really thick and some of the paint is really thin. And but I like this. I like these these prints right here. That is cool. Mm-hmm. 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 Cool pickles. Now, I, I don't know if this is something other people have done. I might just be an idiot to it. But why couldn't you matte medium over this and pull a clear print off of that? Why couldn't you do that? I, I imagine someone out there does that. I cannot be the only person to think of this. 
you know, phenomenon. Let's grab, let's see if I have something that can use a little bit of, you know, something like solid color -y that I might, like this right here is just ugly as sin. So we're going to go over this and pull it onto that page. We will use a dark purple because the white might come out looking pretty cool. I pick up the Martha Stewart paints too whenever I see them on clearance. And we have a creative reuse store nearby. It is not the answer to the mystery of life. Holy crap, is it expensive. And they sell, you know, obviously used tubes of paint. Okay. That's where I bought this color shift there. It was a dollar. It was brand new when I bought it. I pulled the plastic off. Um, I would do that. When they're brand new and they still have the plastic on them, I will grab them. But... You know, some of them there, yeah, they're 25, 50 cents, but you're getting, you know, three cents worth of paint in my book, the way I see it. You know, I'm sorry, but I'm cheap. Ooh, that was cool. I just ran over one of those stencils. Oh, let's try that again. Let's try that again. All right. Okay, put that down. Let's grab this. Ready? Yeah, that's neat. You know, you can't tell that it's flower thingies, but that looks pretty cool. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I'm cheap. I'm sorry, but I, I'm not buying you, your used paint for, for 25 cents. But the color shift, that was a good deal. Because I was at Walmart today. I said, I'm going to buy some more of them color shift paints. Uh, yeah, to the tune of four bucks a bottle. I remember them being like two fifty a couple years ago. You know, when everybody was buying them. I don't know if it's when they first came out or whatever. But come on now. Oh no, I put too much purple. See, that's just purple. And this is what I mean about the jelly plate. You just, sometimes it's too much, and sometimes it's not enough, and sometimes it dries out too fast, and sometimes it dries out too slow, and so look at, that's just awful. I don't know what the hell happened there. But these book pages were nice for painty papers. It just, the paint felt good going on them, you know? I think I tried watercolor on these too, but they kind of pilled a little bit, so it didn't work that well. Let's find another ugly one that I can get the rest of this off of here with. Let's look at this magazine. I love those veranda pages for painty papers, but again, this jelly plate is awful with the with the um, unintentional magazine transfers okay because that's what they are they're very much unintentional a little bit of the light came off pull it up some more pull it up again and try it again here I guess, but I think I didn't have enough white left on there to warrant this kind of action. Well, anyway, we tried some things. I'm going to play around some more. I'll post some pictures up on my IG, okay, so y'all will see it if you're on my IG or my FB or my BMC or my GMT, but again, if you're looking for a cat food, cat feeder, automatic, it's down below. It's totally worth it. It was like, I don't know. I don't know what it costs now. It was like 50 bucks when I bought it. Totally worth every penny because I can go on vacation and my cats are fed, which is awesome. Um, I'll, I'll link to that. I also have some other links down there that I have, um, you know, some things that I use. And they are things that I use and things that I love. All right. So I would not send you in a direction to buy something just because I get the link with an affiliate. No, no, no. They are things that I actually enjoy. So, go ahead and check them out. I will put different ones in different videos depending on what I'm doing sometimes. But the ones that are down there now are things that I have bought recently within the last year and things that so far I love. Like, especially my planner caddy that I just bought a couple months ago. I stinking love it. So, um, go ahead and check out those links in case you need to be buying anything. And I love you all. 
ta-ta for now. And go buy napkins because I don't have a lot left. Okay, bye.